Welcome to this AE Basics tutorial where we're just going to look at two things. Firstly, how do we make the animation as it goes through not grow and shrink but just pop on and pop off? Because at the moment when we pull our offset through you'll see that things grow and shrink and how can we make that go to pop on and pop off? And the second thing is the options we have for shaping the line of text and the bits and pieces we can use to play with those. Okay, so firstly how do I make things pop on and pop off? I've opened up the advanced settings and as you can see I've already done based on character excluding spaces as we've done before. But now what I want to do is I want to go down to where it says shape. And you'll notice that it says it's a square wave. Now square waves are either on or they're off, they're digital. So you'd have thought that would be absolutely ideal for pulling this animation through and things not growing and shrinking. The problem is directly below it we also have something called smoothness. And when smoothness is at 100%, it is smoothing these lines and turning the square wave into a sinusoidal wave which gradually grows and shrinks. So if we want this to pop on and pop off, we want to leave it at square wave and take the smoothness down to zero. Now as soon as the smoothness has gone to zero and we pull the offset through, you'll see that characters literally pop on and pop off one after the other exactly the way that we want. So if you want things to pop on and pop off, you just take that smoothness down to zero. However, if you want them to come on and grow and shrink, you take the smoothness back up to 100% or whatever figure works for you, and then pull it through and get a smoother look. So it all depends what your animation requires. Now smoothness is an option that actually only comes with one shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my end to 100% and I'm going to reset my offset to zero. And I'm just going to show you that you have options to be able to shape your text. And they can be controlled with a number of other options. Now the smoothness is only linked with square wave. If you drop square wave down, you'll see that you've got a whole bunch of other ones. So if I click ramp up, you'll see that smoothness disappears, but the text is shaped. So it's ramping from smaller to larger. And you can change the way that it looks with these three controls here. You've got amount, ease high, and ease low. Now amounts at 100% by default, which it can go to minus 100%, which would take it in exactly the opposite direction. And you can play with ease high and ease low, which by default are set at zero. They can go negative and they can go positive to give a different kind of look to what you want to achieve. Okay, so if I take them both to 100, you can see I've got quite a, a stark change. But if I reset this ease low to zero, I get a smoother look. So you can play with all these different bits and pieces as they work for you. You can also even randomize the order so that it can actually shape it but randomize it at the same time which can create some quite interesting options and that also gives you the option to random seed which means you can pull them through and change the way that that randomness looks. Now that's a brilliant way of doing a very simple animation that's having text pop on and pop off all over the place. And you've got other options, you've got triangle, um, if I turn off random order for the moment, you can see that triangle, at the moment my amount's at minus 100, take it up to plus, plus 100. And also at the moment I've got scale applied, so I could even reset scale, and you'll suddenly find that nothing happens. Why is that? It's because you must have something animated to be able to apply the shapes. So we could, for example, add another property such as rotation, and change the rotation amount and then you'll see that the ramp up and ramp down is going to affect everything that is animated. So if I just had a line of text with no other animators applied, this wouldn't work, but it is going to affect the text or anything that has the animators applied by adding a shape to it. Okay, so this is the sort of thing that you need to play with. By adding animators and playing with the different controls, so the amount, the ease high, the ease low and also how much rotation you might have applied in this particular instance you can see I can apply quite a lot and scale 
and then whether you've got your amount at 100 or minus 100 and then pulling the whole thing through so have fun do bear in mind of course you can still change your range selector so you can still make things pop on and off these are just additional options that are there in the timeline to play and shape your text and have quite a lot of fun simply by animating all these different options that exist in your timeline. I hope you found this useful, that you now know how to make things pop on and off or move smoothly and reveal smoothly, but also how you can shape your text and play around with all kinds of different options simply by playing with the shapes in the advanced section, the controls that are there, even being able to randomize items so that they can look quite peculiar but that might suit exactly what you're trying to achieve. And you know, this would be incredibly difficult to do with keyframes. My name's Andrew Devis. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.